Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of you who comment on the videos and who come to the readings uh, and who leave lovely messages. Thank you so much for that. Thank you also for my long lasting subscribers as well as the new ones and welcome to the new ones. I'd like to make a mention about last week's reading briefly. There was a, um, a request for I Ching uh, readings and I'm very interested in doing them and I will pick them up on them a bit later in the year because uh, my I Ching materials and kit is not with me right now. However, I will do a Tao Oracle reading asking one of the questions that you've suggested in the in the last weeks. So if you'd like to make a request as far as a, a reading is concerned with the Tower Oracle, please comment down below and I'm going to choose one of those questions to do a pick card reading with in the near future. As far as the I Ching readings are concerned, I'm probably going to be able to pick them up sometime around July or yeah, June or July, depending on when uh, uh, commercial flights resume again. Okay, so um, that is that. I wanted to make a quick note about the energy. I uh, actually wanted to do an energy forecast, but I am not feeling so great. So I've decided to not do that. But the energy is in the last week. And, and as we go ahead is something to mention. So I thought I would just mention it here. We've just had a new moon and this new, new moon has signaled um, a new beginning on so many fronts. And so I would use this time to actually uh, begin anew, to set new routines, to start anew. It's almost like a new year and or the beginning of the year. And uh, it's also a great time for healing. So I mentioned this in my previous energy forecast uh, for the time. But it's a fantastic time to heal and to actually work with oneself, whether it's physically or emotionally, mentally, spiritually, in any way at all. It's a really good time to be able to to move things, to shift things. So things that have been stagnant, things that have been just basically weighing you down. It's a good time to be able to shift that with ease. So I wish you all the best with that. And uh, I will do an energy forecast. Uh, perhaps I'll try to do one with the full moon that's coming up next. So we can begin our reading. Uh, so this week's Oracle card reading uses the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. And I have three stones here. Uh, please go ahead and make a selection. We can start the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, as we always do, what is our oracle guidance for this week as we go ahead? And the card that's come up here is called Worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. I feel like drawing another card for you. I have to be honest, I feel like there's more than one message that wants to come across for you. So let me go ahead and do that. And the other card here is Treasure Chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Okay, so I actually want to, I feel that there's still something else here that needs to come through. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and choose one more card for you. There we are. All right. So I usually think that one card is adequate in a, um, in an Oracle card reading for the week, because we don't want to ask too many questions. We don't want to, um, be inquiring too much. We want to simply take a bit of information that we have and be guided by it for the week. But this week, I felt that uh, the cards were not speaking to me as they needed to, or they weren't, they weren't giving me that pop of energy that I usually get. And this is why I decided to choose more than one card for you this week. And so the cards we have are worthiness, know that you deserve to receive good in all ways, treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. And then the last card here is pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. When I mentioned a little bit earlier about the energy at the moment and I talked about what, what is coming up for us and the fact that it's a, it's a great time for healing. One of the things I failed to mention was that you would see many signs 
pointing you in this regard, you would also be pointed in the direction of being drawn to something that you need to finish or drawn to something that needs to be taken care of. And I feel right now that more than ever, there is a kind of urgency for you to actually take action, for you to do something, for you to finish something. Um, in many, for many of you, it's finish something, but not for all of you. For some of you, it's actually for you to begin something. It's for you to be able to take something on its path. So if you've been thinking of writing that book forever, if you've been thinking of of actually, um, you know, starting that healing center, or you've been thinking of phoning somebody, phoning a friend, phoning a friend that you haven't spoken to for a long time. Now is the time to do it. Now is the time to actually take that action and, and to do it because the time is ripe to do it. There's no need for you to wait any longer. This ties together with worthiness. If you've been given signs, you've been shown what you need to do. I'm not talking about a desire, a flaming desire, passion in you that wants to push you in a particular direction. That is not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about consistent signs of sober messages grounding you. You need to be able to remember and understand fully that you deserve to receive good in all ways, which is tied into this card here. It's important to recognize that you are worthy of whatever goodness that is coming your way so that you can actually receive it that you can pave the way to be able to receive that goodness and to understand that you are a dynamic force in yourself even though you may feel tired or you may feel um like you can't continue or that you you may feel like you want to give up or like you just i just feel like a very tired energy coming from some of you actually so if you have the courage to be to be able to notice these repetitious signs because very often if you have a burning passion or if you have something in you that's propelling you in one particular direction you are not really open to hearing what is grounding you these signs these things that you that are trying to pull you in a different direction that are actually pointing the road for you this is something that in order to be able to hear it, in order to be able to take that advice, they're saying have have to feel worthy enough, have the courage to be able to notice the, the, the signs I'm giving you. Because if you do that, then you're going to be able to take the action that you need to. And that's actually going to pave the path for you to feel well enough in yourself to be able to receive greater goodness or greater things that comes along and they they have the card here the treasure chest you know right in the middle of this all and this card here the treasure chest an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now it doesn't have to be just financial this could be in so many ways you know there's a sense here that there may be times when you feel that you just can't make it or you can't you just can't continue or that you just can't you just won't be able to make it and what I'm hearing here is that you have been you haven't been listening you haven't been hearing what you need to hear so there's a sense that you've been very caught up in a certain emotion or in a certain drive which you've been which you've been using as a means to push yourself which you've been using as a means to to actually motivate yourself on on a daily basis but this needs to be redefined because this drive is pushing you only in one direction it doesn't allow you to pick up the advice or the guidance that you need to be able to change things to be able to recognize another aspect of yourself in order to be able to have the greater goodness i have what is best for you so the very basic message here is that Pay attention to the signs. You're worthy enough to receive good and you will receive good. Okay, so but there's something else here. It feels like there's this part of you that's functioning on your in your daily life. There's this part of you that's functioning and going along in in your life. And then there's this other part of you that needs that's being ignored or that needs to be Uh, paid attention to and this feels like it belongs to that part this feels it doesn't feel like it belongs to your daily life or your mundane your mundanity of course it will impact that but it feels like another part of you that you've been ignoring that you actually need to pay attention to it feels like this part of you that is in your blind side 
that is the part of you that needs to be paid attention to okay and this is the part of you where there is where you need to feel more worthy or where you need to feel like you deserve better or you can you are, you can allow yourself to receive better so the other message i am hearing here and it may sound quite trite to, to some of you but it it actually talks about having being able to see this abundance and this light all around you it talks about being able to see it already exactly in the state that you're in right now and it talks about not being able to see it because you're not able to allow yourself to see it that you're not you're not allowing yourself to to recognize how wonderful you are as a human being how wonderful um and how dynamic you are how innovative you are how creative you are how skilled you are what a, a delightful being you are and this is talking about it's talking about how you're just not you, it's like you're not able to see that right now and why are you not able to see that is there something that's gotten you down is there something are you just tired because once again i get this very tired energy from you and i feel that you know sometimes tiredness can ar- arise not just out of working overworking or or um not sleeping enough it can come from also sleeping too much it can come also from not being active enough so there is that message as well and it says well pay attention to who you really are pay attention to what you are and how great you are and how wonderful you are and then you'll see that the trash the treasure chest here is inside of you as well and you recognize that you are worthy of being able to accept more goodness in your life so that is another way of reading these cards and a way of understanding um these messages i would just like to see if there's something else for you and i'm going to pick up this card for the inspiration okay so I think the one last thing I want to say here is that there needs to be a more playful approach to things. This week asks you to approach everything in a more playful manner, in not necessarily a lighter manner, not in a blissful manner necessarily, but one way you're actually having fun, one way you're actually engaging yourself to have fun, allowing yourself to have fun. There's this feeling of being too serious or taking yourself too seriously or getting down about yourself because things are not working out as they should be or things um haven't really gone in the way in which you wanted it to now as i've said that i recognize that that only applies to a few of you whereas there are a lot of you where th- things are actually going well and you're happy and that's fine and it's that's wonderful but then to be able to recognize that and celebrate that is what is asked for you it calls for being able to enjoy your life a bit more being able to take time out to to engage in that enjoyment and to be able to draw others close to you who actually can help you to have this fun so don't isolate yourself in this time and okay so okay i know that goes completely against uh the what what we need to be doing right now um in terms of the virus and all of that but um you know you cannot isolate yourself not necessarily by being in contact with people but um you can actually choose to to engage with people virtually or online or however you will do it um it doesn't need to, it doesn't mean that you need to be directly in contact with people but um what what they're saying here is that that would also help right now to bring in a couple of people or um bring in some forces that help you lighten your load help you make it easier for you to enjoy your life and even if your load is not that heavy even if you're just feeling a bit tired and you're feeling like you need a boost of energy then the way in which to be able to uh, ascertain that is to have a bit of fun and perhaps you know do a house party or a or a zoom thing with some of your friends and and see you know bring together this happiness bring together this light and this this love that you need to be feeling right now but also i want to say that um i want to emphasize here that notice what is being spoken to you notice what is happening here you might be hearing a message over and over again and not hearing it at all you might be actually um there might be a message here that's it's coming your way and that you've just not been hearing it and you've not been 
understanding what it is. And that message is directly related to how worthy you feel and how well you feel in yourself and and where it is that you need to be able to access this treasure chest, where it is that you need to be able to access this abundance. So having said all of that, you can also take these messages quite literally. And, you know, this card does talk about an unforeseen windfall of new of new abundance coming to you now. And it is quite possible that that could be the case in your week ahead or in the next few weeks. So I wish you all very well. I hope that this reading has been useful for you. And I hope that these messages can actually help you as you go along. Please stay safe and stay happy and be blessed. Thank you. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking, what is our guidance for the week ahead? Okay, I think it's this card here. And the card is alchemy. It says you have the meters touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. Wow, what a wonderful message to receive. I think this is a time in which you can create greater things in your life. I think this is a time in which whatever you actually decide to do with your with yourself, whatever you, you whichever project you embark upon, it can work well. And I think that this is specifically for this week. I feel like this energy exists between the new moon that and last week and the next full moon. And I think this card is talking about exactly that. It's talking about how to continue in this time and to remind you that you have this power that is actually earthed, that is actually connected to the greater energy that we're all a part of. And that this power allows you to be able to create anything that you desire, but more so than at other times, your wishes are going to come true and what you desire is going to come to fruition. I feel that this is mostly uh, well, not mostly, but it can relate a lot to though in regard to those around you. So if you're helping somebody else out, it could actually work out very well in their favor. If you are assisting, it could actually work very well. If you're making a donation, that donation could actually be very helpful and go a long way for whoever it is. And so this card here, it talks very much about being able to, to use the magic that you have at your at your veil right now. Now, this is something that um, I feel like we always have this magic. We always can do this. But I think that from an energetic point of view, there are some times when it's easier to be able to use this and other times when it's not. And I think right now it's a little bit easier for you to be able to use this or to be able to create things, to be able to make things happen for you right now. And not just make things happen for you, but make things happen in a way that you feel really happy about, where you feel that things actually work out your way, where it's pushing you along and, and helping you along and furthering your your, your, you along your own path. I also want to say that if you've been a bit concerned about money or if things have been a bit financially tight for you or you've been experiencing some kind of losses in this last while, that this card tells you that you're going to, that's going to end. That's actually going to stop right now and you're going to be making some gains. There is this show of gains coming your way, whereas you might have in the last week or so had to maybe you've had some huge payments or maybe you've had to deal with something that is you had hadn't budgeted for you're going to find that this week is going to bring you um it's going to bring money into you it's going to bring financial resources your way now i feel that that just clairvoyantly that's the message that i'm receiving here i know that that is not a message that one necessarily reads on this card I also feel, once again, I want to emphasize that um, for those of you who help others at this moment, it's going to be very beneficial for them and it will also benefit you uh, as it benefits them. The other message here, however, is that, and I think that this is the more important message, is that 
it says that you have the meters touch right now and every project you t begin turns to gold. But I feel that this is not about the projects that you begin. I feel that these are the projects that you're like halfway through or you've begun already. You've begun already. Maybe you just, you know, 10% through, or maybe you're like 80% through, or maybe you're 50% through. But it, those things that you've begun already, if you go back right now, you'll be able to finish it. You'll be able to make good big headway in it. And I think that that is what this card is, is, is talking about. It's uh, talking about being able to make, so uh, talking about a huge rise of energy and, and um, having, having the, the impetus as well as the strength to go ahead and to create things and to do things and to finish things in this week ahead. And I feel like for some of you, you don't just need a week, you need months to be able to do this. But if you begin it in this week, you will be able, if you re-begin it um, in this week, you will be able to make great progress with it. The other thing I'm hearing here, um, well, if you're wondering, well, what if I begin a new project? Won't that also turn to gold? Well, yes, I feel that it would benefit it very greatly. Um, but I feel that this message is mostly for those of you who need to finish something that you've started already, even if it's something that you haven't made a lot of headway with, even if it's just, you know, you've put in an outline for uh, a book, or you've um, written a title for a book or a script, and you are needing to f do all the rest. The fact that the idea has already been there, the fact that it's been um, incubated, it's actually going to allow you to take off with much more ease and um for those of you who do begin things right now of course it's going to also be beneficial for you just in terms of the energy and as, as and this card is a confirmation but i think that if you do have anything that needs to be finished finish that first before you begin something new and that is going to stand you good it's going to stand you in good stead okay so that is your message for those of you who've chosen this today i hope that that has helped you and um good luck as you go about turning everything to gold please stay safe and stay happy and um, be blessed as you go along so for those of you who've chosen this option here we're asking what is our guidance as we go along in this week and we have the card empowerment that's flown out I just feel like there's one more card here for you. And I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so the cards we have here are Empowerment and Break Free. It reads, you're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. And Break Free reads, try different ventures and experiences as a new, as a way to grow and learn. So for both of the cards that I've read already, for the other two options, the advice was to actually continue with things that you've begun already. And for you, it feels like this is a really good time to start something new. This is a new, a good time to actually begin anew, to to start going in a different direction. As the card Break Free says, it talks about taking a whole different path, doing something completely different. Now, this path or this uh, start may have been initiated earlier it may have been initiated in december or january or sometime earlier but now it is actually it, it always feels like a crossroads for you where you actually could choose to return to go back into an old path or to be able to move ahead and go directly forward as you need to right now and this card here is saying you know what don't just go ahead as you've been doing don't just choose that path choose any path that you want to right now you can go in any direction that you desire and this is available to you right now and you just need to give yourself the permission to think about it and to dream about it because while there may be various constraints you don't need to actually be bogged down by them you don't need to get them the, you don't, the constraints don't need to define you. You are the one that needs to feel empowered enough to be able to dream, to be able to allow yourself to, to, to give yourself permission to dream about what it is that you want. And remember that while there may be various constraints around, while there may be various things that, that are maybe boxing you in or keeping you constrained on some level, you can actually remove these constraints by energetically wishing them away. And the way in which you can do that is by simply believing that it can happen. If you can believe that it can happen, if you can believe that you can be free, if you can believe that you can be empowered, if you can believe that you can be living the life that you dream of having, then you can actually have that. But if you 
if you constantly say, well, you know, I have this, I have to pay for that, and who's going to pay for this, and how will I be able to do that, um, then you aren't going to be able to pave the path. Yes, those concerns are valid, and yes, there needs to be a solution to all of that, but the manifestation starts with dreaming. It starts with actually believing that it can be possible, and that is your first step along the way. Now, this card here, Empowerment, it, it talks to me, I feel like when I look at this card, I feel like this, like you feel shy. It's like you're shy to dream. It's like you're shy to actually believe, you know. And for some of you, I'm getting the feeling that it, this this requires a move. It requires like a, like a change of scenery, like a change of environment, like moving to a new place or moving away from where you've been it requires a different paradigm it requires stepping into another way of life you know perhaps a different culture completely so um f consider that if uh there are for those of you who are actually listening to this if you feel or if you've been guided to actually make a change in your life then now is the time to do it now is the time to break free as it says here and to be able to push yourself out of this the situation that you've been in i'm not necessarily saying that your your situation is a comfort zone but it feels like the routine or the mundanity of your your life or even past dramas that have that have abbreviated your life actually something of the past and you can leave all of that behind it's almost like from today, from the time that you read this message, it's a whole new day for you. It's a whole new beginning for you. It's It can be something that you create from now. And I would, listening to this message, I would sit down with a piece of paper and actually just think about what it is that I truly desire in my life. What it is that, that I truly want in my life. Not think about how, how am I going to get there or how what are people going to think if I give up my studies or if I if I do this or do that but rather like what is it exactly that I want to do with my life right now and how is it that I can go about doing it you don't need to have all the finer detail you just need to be able to dream and sometimes knowing not know, knowing how is not as important either it's simply knowing and, and putting it out there being able to understand that you can actually have this For some of you here I feel like you've been really hard on yourself and if you've been hard on yourself, the way in which it manifests itself, the way in which it shows itself in your life is if you have difficulties in your life, if you become the victim of certain injustices along the way, if you are, if you find that you are often the, um, the victim of some kind of injustice, it actually points to the fact that you are not, you are really hard on yourself. Now, I know that's a very strange cor cor correlation to make or maybe one would think that's you know that's a huge jump but it, it actually isn't because the way in which you treat yourself is the way in which others treat us and or the way in which we are treated by by others where is it that you need to be kinder to yourself where is it that you need to allow yourself to dream a little bit more or give yourself a little bit more allowance give yourself a bit more leeway to be able to to dream to be able to change things a little bit and then see what comes from that because what I'm hearing here is that there's this person who's who's actually feeling quite small in oneself right now and feeling quite limited. But in fact, you are this, you are like this huge, um, I'm this is a dolphin, but I feel like, okay, this is the mermaid and dolphin deck, but it, it's like this huge orca in the water that can actually rise above. And, you know, you are the, the king of the ocean, basically. Um, and you actually can do whatever you want to in your life and you have this great power inside of you and you can actually do anything you desire so are you going to allow yourself to recognize that and are you going to allow yourself to 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 see that for this moment only i think as you go along in this week try not to get bogged down with necessities of life try not to get bogged down with things like the the shopping or the paying of bills or the worrying about the rent or um or just managing things. Try to go a bit deeper. Try to think a bit more about your life. And where is that spark? That spark, that fire that's that's supposed to be breathing inside of you. Where is that spark? Is it outside of you? Or is it inside of you? And is it burning brightly? Or is it 
no longer burning at all? You know, so these are some of the questions that are coming up in terms of your guidance for the week ahead. And I feel that as you go along, you can actually make some sacrifices in terms of your your life, your daily routines, the world that you live in right now. Make some sacrifices in terms of the the, the comforts that you have and actually go forth in a way that allows you to bring true worth to yourself, bring true value to your life and, and kind of engage a different aspect of yourself, engage a different energy so that you can actually bring the greatness out of you and you can actually do that unfettered, not caring about what others think, not caring about what you think, not placing conditions on how you go about doing this. So I think that is the message here um, in terms of how to go about this week and, and what to do with yourself in, in the time ahead. There's another message in here. I just want to take a look at the card. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, what I'm feeling here is that there is support that's around you that actually um, are in the form of maybe friends, like two or three friends, or maybe two specifically and you can actually draw on that support you can draw on these people to help you as you go along in this week and if you need um help with something whether it's something like a business plan or or some funds or some kind of um um help to be able to guide you as you go along you can be you can actually draw on this these people these people are actually there to help you and they're willing to help and they're waiting to help and they are like these these angels in your life that you can actually ask at any time you know can i have this or can i have that and they're going to be able to to help you along with that so don't be shy to ask for help at this moment don't be shy to be able to say to them i actually want to go in this path and what is your advice right now and be open to that don't be don't allow your shyness to to mask your need for help or your insecurity to veil your desire for to move forward because sometimes you might be feeling that like you don't want that person to know how vulnerable you really are or you don't want that person to know how much of help you really need or how bad the situation is but this card here is saying listen just be open just be honest and have a frank conversation with one of these people and or to or both of them and if there are these people in your life because I'm feeling here that for some of you there's like this path that you are on and you need to get to there but this is a long there's a huge space between these two uh, places and that these people here and that person is actually going to be able to help you to to go through with this it might just be one person actually it might just be one person who's going to be able to help you here yeah, so don't be afraid to ask for that and feel empowered enough to be able to ask have enough confidence to be able to ask have enough faith and trust in yourself to be able to ask for that help as you go along so that you can go ahead and break free so that you can go ahead and break out of that mold that's been holding you down and actually, it feels to me like it's been depleting your resources. So I'm wishing for you that you actually feel that, that drive to be able to create something great in your life, to be able to move ahead in a different direction and to be able to create something new, breaking free of the mundanity and breaking free of the routines and allowing yourself to live from a space of, of from w within you, which is which has a great source, which has a great, um, like the great spirit in you. You need to live from that space and not from the space of, you know, I need to pay these bills and I need to pay those bills and I need to do that work and I need to do this. That is not the space that you need to live from. You need to live from a space, from your core. You need to live from that powerhouse inside of you. And the only way you can do that is if you are living in community, if you are living in a team, if you are living in in a way in which what I mean by that is being able to ask for help where you need it, being able to be honest about what it is that you need, being able to be vulnerable and say, well, you know, this is how I've been feeling and this is what I need and this is where I need to go to from here. And can you help me? Being able to to put your insecurities aside, being able to put your, your sadness aside or your, your fear aside or your shyness aside and to be able to say, well, 
this is who I am. I'm here. I'm raw. I'm vulnerable. I need this kind of help to be able to get to that point where I can break free, where I can actually break out of the mold that I'm in right now in order to do things differently. And as you do that, remember to be open to act to, to new avenues. Okay, you can't break free if there's only one idea or one path that you want to go into and you have already set your vision for that path and you're not allowing any other paths to come in, into your view. You need to be able to think about things outside of the box and, and think about things in a different way in order to feel like you can actually break free and in order to break free. So that is your assignment almost for this week. It's almost like you need to focus on those kind of things and actually um, make that break for you right now. I also feel that for you, some of you, this last new moon is very important for you. And um, this full moon that's coming up, as well as the next full moon, is a very important times for you. So use this time in a way to actually be able to create whatever it is that you desire in your life use this time to do that because even if you mean even if it doesn't come to fruition in the physical realm if you have put it out there if you've planted the seed for it in um in an energetic realm it will come to fruition at a later stage okay so i'm wishing you all very well and i hope that message has resonated and has helped you as you go along um actually as i was recording i saw that the camera had stopped um working so a huge chunk of this message was lost and, and that's unfortunate but I guess it wasn't meant to be so um yes I hope that this message has resonated and it has actually helped you as you are going along I wish you all very well and please stay safe and please be happy <laughs> and blessings abound from Kismet Rising